So I would like to thank you, thank the Peace Islands Institute for this wonderful award. Um, you've seen on the screen a little bit of what we do around the world. Uh, we actually now have offices in 30 countries, and I think we've grown to be the biggest peace-building organization in the world. But the kind of thing we do is exactly what the last speakers were talking about. We're doing education for peace, though we're doing it across whole countries. We're trying to do it in a societal kind of way. We're trying to bring the world into a non-adversarial, win-win kind of framework, which would be a major paradigm shift. Now, the teaching would be the same as one would do with eight-year-old students. The problem is it gets more and more complicated the bigger the system and the number of people's invo people involved. So the task is, is very complicated for us. We see popular culture as one of the most important ways of bringing this kind of uh, reasoning, this kind of thinking, this kind of action across to large parts of the population. So in my old age, I become a soap meister. I make soap opera in 17 countries around the world. And we use music video, we use um, um, theater, we, may, we have a, a feature movie coming out, and we're doing the same kind of work that you've been hearing so much about today. The scale's a little um, bigger. The, um, um, the methodology includes the same traditional peace building, peacemaking ways of working, but also a whole bunch of tools that we're developing and we've taken, we're trying to take to scale to bring the whole world around to what I know everybody in this room is in favor of. So thank you very much. And I'm really appreciative of this award. The Peace Islands Institute is clearly on the, the same framework as I am. And I'm very happy. So thank you very much. <laughs>